Good afternoon, kindergartners, teachers, and parents. I'm Mr. Jackson, and welcome to Phonics with Mr. Jackson Kindergarten Way. The sound kindergartners that we're working on today is the what sound. I'll say that again. Our special sound for today is the what sound, the same sound we hear in the word well and will. Let's do that again. Our special sound for today is the what sound, the same sound we hear in the words well and will. Kindergartners, listen to these words. Will, whistle, whisper. I'll say them again. Will, whistle, and whisper. Kindergartners, let's look at our two letters that make up our special sound. Our two letters that make up our special sound are the letters W and the letter H. I'll show them again. Our two letters that make up our special sound are the letters W and the letters H. Kindergartners, you learned earlier this year that the letter W says wa, wa, and the letter H says ha, ha. I'll do that again. Earlier this year, you learned that the letter W says wa, the same sound you hear in the word water and wait, and the letter H says ha, ha, the same sound you hear in the word hand and how. When we put these two letters together, they make a special sound. Our special sound is the sound wa, wa. We call this sound a digraph sound, okay? Kindergartners, also if you notice in my hand, I'm holding a picture of a whale. A whale, notice my mouth, wa, wa, whale, whale. Also kindergartners notice what color is my whale? Yeah, you guessed it guys, my whale is also white. I hold in my hand a white well, kindergartners, do you see the way that I'm forming my mouth? W w white well. Hmm. Let's practice on that a little bit. Kindergartners, I already know that you know how to write the letters W and H, but let's go back and let's practice those two letters, okay? Are you ready? And since this is our special sound, we'll use the color red to write the letters W and H. Let's start with the letter W, okay? This is how we form the letter W. We simply go down or we slant it, then we go up, down again, and up. Did you see that? Great job. Now you trace it with me. Are you ready, kindergartners? Let us begin. Down, up, down, and up again. One more time. Down, up, down, and up again. Now let's practice the letter H. Are you ready? Here we go. To make the letter H, we simply go down, straight line, up, and around, and down. Did you see that? Let's practice that. We simply go down, up, around, and down. Now some teachers may say go over, and if they, if they say that, then that's absolutely fine. Let's try that one. We go down, up, over, and down. Kindergartners, guess what? We just put the letter W and H together, which makes the what sound, the wa, wa sound. Let's put it together again. When we put the letters W and H again, what sound do we have? We have the wa, wa sound. Kindergartners, I'm also thinking of another word. I hold in my hand a whistle, a whistle. Did you hear that? Did you hear that wa sound at the beginning of the word whistle? Can you whistle? Now, when I was getting this lesson together, I started practicing whistling, and I must admit, guys, I am not a whistler. I haven't whistled it since I was a child. But if you just put your lips together and blow when you say the word whistle, watch this. Now, I know that was kind of weak, because I told you guys I haven't whistled in a long time, but notice I whistled. The word whistle begins with the what sound. Right, great job, guys. Whistle will, and whisper, whisper. All of those words begin with the what sound. Now, kindergartners, before I did that, I whistled a little bit. I whistled with my mouth, and I also whistled with my whistleblower. If you can whistle fifth grade, third grade, kindergartners, please forgive me, that's what happens when you teach so many grades. If you can whistle, kindergartners, I'm gonna show you a series of words, 
and you're gonna be listening for the initial sound in each word. When we say initial, we're talking about the first sound of the word. So for example, in the word whistle, my initial sound is wha, wha, whistle. So when I say each word, if you hear the wha sound as the beginning sound, you're gonna whistle. If you don't know how to whistle, that's okay. You can just make a noise. If you don't hear the wha sound as the initial sound of the first sound, don't do anything, okay? I'll say that again. If you hear the wha sound at the beginning of the word, whistle, whistle while you work. If you don't hear it, don't do anything, all right? Are y'all ready? Let's begin. Our first word is the word, and you might want to watch my mouth as it rounds. Whack, 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 whack. Whistle if you hear the wha sound. Don't whistle if you don't hear it. You guys whistled. Let's see how well you did. Kindergartners, the word is whack, and if you notice, my first two letters in the word whack are W and H. That's the same two letters that we practice. Remember we said W and H, when we put those two letters together, makes the what sound? Wha, wha. You hear wha as your initial sound or your first sound in the word whack. And you guys whistled, so guess what? You were correct. Great job. Our next word, that's my fault, I'll give that to you, is the word whip. Whip. Notice my mouth. Wha, wha, whip. Whip. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You notice the first two words or the first two letters in the word whip? They are red, so that tells me what? That my first sound or my initial sound is wha, the wha sound. You guys whistled, and you were correct. Whip, as in cool whip, something we put on top of our desserts. Our next word, kindergartners, listen carefully, is the word whisk, whisk, wha, wha, whisk, whisk. I heard whistling. Let's see if you guys were correct. First two letters are red. That tells me my first sound or my initial sound must be wha. And you guys whistled. And guess what? You are absolutely correct. And a whisk is something that your mom might use when she bakes a cake or bake goods. Great job. Next word. Listen carefully. The word is disc. 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 Watch my mouth. Disc. Disc. Hmm. I didn't hear any whistling. I wonder why. Let's see. Disc, D-I-S-K. You guys didn't whistle, and guess what? You got your stop sign. You are absolutely correct. In fact, kindergartners, the first sound you heard was actually the D sound, the same sound you hear in the letter D, 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 disc. Let's try another word. The word is wheat, wheat, something that we use to make bread with. Wheat, wheat. Whistle if you hear it. All right, let's see if you guys are right. I heard whistling. Our first two letters are what color, kindergartners? You said it, red, and you whistled, and guess what? You are absolutely correct. Great job, great job. Give yourselves a hand for that. I'm proud of you all. And our last word, listen to this word. This is a compound word. It's kind of big. But our word is wheelchair. Wheelchair. Did you notice my mouth? Wheelchair. Did you hear it? Wheelchair. All right, I heard you guys trying to whistle. Great job. Let's see if you guys were correct. Our first two letter, letters in the word wheelchair are red. And remember, wheelchair is something that someone who may be disabled or handicapped might sit in or use to help them out. You guys whistled, and guess what? You were correct. Awesome job. Great job. I'm so proud of you. Remember, kindergartners, our special sound for today is the what sound? The wha sound. Wha, wha. The same sound you hear in the word wheelchair, whisper, whistle, and wheel. Great job. Let's get ready for some blending of words. You ready? All right. I'll take this down so we don't need this anymore. I'll put it over to the side. Our first word, kindergartners, that we're going to blend, I'm going to put my special sound in red, and here we go. And then, kindergartners, I'm going to write my other letters in black. And I hope you guys can see that. Kindergartners, my special sound is the sound wa. If you notice, I have a vowel in the middle of my word. My vowel is a short vowel, so short vowel I says it, as in itch or insect, it. Notice my last letter. 
It is the consonant Z, and Z says Z. So let's put it together. Wa is. I'll do it again. Wa is. Now let's blend it. Wiz. One more time. Wiz. Great job. Is that what you guys did? Great job. Let's practice another one. Now, I'm going to put my special sound again in red. My special sound is wh, wh, those are our special letters. I'm going to put the rest of my letters in black. And kindergartners, if you notice, I have a vowel. I actually have two vowels. And so this is a magic E word. And we learned earlier that if we have an E that comes at the end of the word, that E jumps over the consonant and it makes the vowel do what? Say its name. So this I is just going to say its name. Its name is what? I. I. Our special sound is wh. So we won't hear the E at the end because the E makes the I say its name. Are you ready? Let's blend this word together. Let's begin. Wh-i-t. Let's do it again. Wh-i-t. One more time. Wh-i-t. Let's blend it. White. White. Great job. And let's blend one more because you guys are doing such a great job. I'm going to put my special sound in red. And I'm going to put the rest of my word in black. Write the rest of it, okay? My special sound, kindergartners, is what? Wha, wha. Notice I have a vowel in the middle. That's a short vowel. Short vowel A. What sound does short vowel A say? Eh, eh. And I have the consonant P. What sound does P make? All right, it says P. Let's blend it. Are you ready? Let's begin. Wap, wap. One more time. Wap, wap. One more time. Wap, wap. Great job. You guys are so smart. Kiss your brain. Mm -hmm. Great job. Great job. Now, guys, we're going to move on to some more things. I'm going to say a word. You'll repeat it. We'll spell it and then you'll write it. Let's do it again. I'll say the word, you'll repeat the word, we'll write the word, we'll spell the word, and then we'll write the word. Are you ready, kindergartners? Our first word that we're going to write, and we'll go down here, is the word whip. Whip. Can you say the word whip? That is exactly correct. Whip. Let's spell the word. Now I like to decode my words. Are you ready? So remember, guys, WH says one sound, it's a digraph. Wuh, wuh. I only have one vowel, that's a short vowel, I, and my word ends with the consonant P. So are you ready? Let's decode that word. Let's begin. Wuh, ip. Let's do it again. Wuh, ip, whip, whip. Write it. This is what you should have written, kindergartners. You should have written W H I. The word is whip, whip, whip. Great job. Let's try another one. Are you ready? The word is whack, whack. Can you say the word whack? Great job. Let's see if we can spell it. Now, this word has a special sound on the end of it. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it is. It is the CK sound. And you guys are going to learn about that next week. But for our advanced students, I thought I'll go ahead and throw that in for this week. Wh whack. Are you ready? Remember, WH says one sound, so we're only going to use one finger to represent that sound. Are you ready, kindergartners? Let's begin. Wha, ack. Let's do it again. Wha, ack, whack. Write it. And this is what should have been written. Whack, wha, ack, wha, ack, whack. That's short A. Wah, ack, whack. Great job. And this is our very last one, right? The word is wop, wop. Let me see you wop, wop. Uh-huh. Can you say the word wop? Wop. Let's see if we can decode it or tap spell it. Are you ready? Here we go. Remember, WH says one sound. Let's begin. Wah, op. Let's do it again. Wah, op. What vowel sound do you hear in the middle? You hear the O sound, O. Oh. Short O, wa op p write it. All right, kindergartners, this is what you should write for WAP. W-H-O-P. 
Ooh. WAP, WAP, great job, kindergartners. Now, kindergartners, let's get ready for sentence dictation. Are you ready? Here we go. I'll say the sentence first, and then you repeat after me, and then we'll pound the sentence, all right? I'll say it first, you repeat after me, and then we'll use our pounder to pound out our sentence. Are you ready? And here's our sentence. Listen carefully. The whip is in the box. I'll say it again. The whip is in the box. Can you say it? Say it again. All right, kindergartners, let's pound that word. Are you ready? And I, I like to pound on the table, so let's use our table to pound. You ready? Let's begin. The whip is in the box. One more time. The whip is in the box. I don't know about you, kindergartners, but when I pound it, I pound it six times. So that tells me that I have six words, or I should have six words in my sentence. The whip is in the box. I'll do it again. The whip is in the box. You ready? And this sentence is full of sight words. The is. And on last week, you guys learned about the X sound, the th sound. So don't forget to include that on the end of the word box. Are you ready? Write it. And remember, kindergartners, sentences always begin with a capital letter and end in a punctuation mark. And to help you guys out, I'm going to go ahead and punctuate this sentence by putting a period because this sentence is just making a statement. The whip is in the box. You guys are ready already? All right, let's write it. The whip is in the, there's another one of our sight words, box, box, box. Did you guys get it? Is that what you wrote? The whip is in the box. Great job, great job. Fifth graders, let's see if we can apply what we've learned, the w sound, to a decodable text, okay? You ready? Kindergartners, if you notice the title of our text, the whiz, the whiz. Notice, kindergartners, before we read, let's do a little bit of a, uh, let's do a pre-reading strategy. A lot of the words in the story, the whiz, begin with the letters W and H. That's our special sound, W. So as we read this, this decodable is full of a lot of sight words that we've already learned. So I want to, I'm listening specifically for those words that begin with the W sound. Are you ready? Now this is what I need for you to do. Come close to your cameras, to your televisions, to your phones, and as we read it, I want you to touch each word to make sure that you're tracking your print as I read aloud to you. Are you ready? Let's begin. The whiz. This is the whiz. When the whiz starts, it chugs up and up. When it is at the top, the whiz stops. When it starts, the whiz drops fast and far. Wham! The whiz whips left. The whiz whips up a big hill. Then it whips past a bridge. Wham! When the whiz stops, it stops fast. Will you ride the whiz? Hmm. Kindergartners, did you notice all of those what words in our decodable? At the end of our decodable, it asked a question. Will you ride the whiz? Based upon what I've read, it sounds like the whiz is some type of ride at an amusement park. Would you be willing to get on the whiz? I know I would, because I love amusement parks and I love scary rides. Kindergartners, let's go back through our text and let's read each word that begins with the W sound. Are you ready? And we'll start with our title. What's the first word you see that begins with the W sound in our title? You said it, whiz. Let's look at that second sentence. What word do you see that begins with the W sound? Whiz again. Now let's go through and let's read the other words. Are you ready? On that first line, we have the word when, whiz. When, whiz, when, whiz, wham, whiz, whiz, whip, wham, when, whiz, whiz. Did you guys get it? Great job. I am so proud of you guys. Kindergartners, in your packet, 
you have a sheet that looks like this. And here are your directions. Let me put on my glasses. Read the diagraph in the magnifying glass. And that diagraph is the what sound. Color only the pictures that have the diagraph sound. Remember that sound is one sound, what. Now, if you notice, your picture is beautiful, your, your page is beautiful, and it's full of lots of pictures. Some of these pictures begin with the what. You're going to color each picture, kindergartners, and what I like for you to do is take a picture of these and make sure that you send it to your teacher to let your teacher know or turn it into your plastic bin at your school to let your principals and your teachers know that you watched the lesson today and that you understand the what sound. Kindergartners, what was that special sound that we worked on today? It was the what sound, the same sound you hear in the word whale, white whale, white whale, white whale, what do you want? I want a whistle. <laughs> All right, kindergartners, great job. Don't forget those what words as you go throughout your house. Look for some words that begin with the what sound. Once you find those words, you can either draw you a picture or you can write them down and share them with your parents. Guys, I've so enjoyed you guys today. You all have been absolutely phenomenal. And until next Monday, have a great day.